welcome to my channel. You may be wondering why you're not able to see my face and that is simply because this is not a makeup video. This is a nail video. You may be thinking, Hana, your nails look like busted up pieces of literal crap. But the answer to that question is we're gonna fix them today. That wasn't even a question. So I've seen this trend going around. Since you can't see my face, I'll go ahead and show you my hands. It's called cornstarch nails. What the heck? So I decided I'd give it a try for a video to debunk it because honestly, I don't think it's real. So I went and got all the props that I need. I need my Christmas tree for inspiration. I need my milkshake from Cookout. And um, I mean just... Huh. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I have cornstarch cornstarch I have nail tips that I bought last minute at work while I was at work diligently working I found some in the clearance section that were only three bucks I got nail glue and I got an old makeup brush so previously I had gel on my nails that's also one of the reasons why they look like this so I'm not like the best at doing nails, but lately I've been taking pride in my nail game. I'm gonna take the buffing side of this nail file and just buff down the parts of my nails where I will be applying the nail glue. So that's gonna be like the tips. I don't know if this is gonna work, but I've literally seen it all over the internet. Everybody and their mother has been doing these videos and I thought I'm gonna debunk this because there's no way these people be posting pictures of their nails after they do it with cornstarch. Looking like freaking they just came out of the nail salon and $2.99 in the clearance section at Sally's. The normal ones are only $5, so that's not a whole different. This, two bucks. This literally costed me $5. And then the cornstarch, I don't even know. I'm pretty sure everybody has cornstarch in their house. So I didn't even pay for that. So now I'm gonna just take these tips and Make sure that I have the ones that fit my fingers. And, um, let's do this. So, after about 20 minutes of soul searching, I finally found some nail forms that fit me. I mean, my friend, Amanda, she does nails. Hey, Amanda. She said that if they're, like, too big, they'll pop off really quickly. If they're too small, they'll pop off really quickly. Make sure they fit, like almost perfectly on the nail bed to where like the ends are going into the cuticle area. So I'm going to apply all of this nail glue a little bit on my nail and then a little bit um, on the uh, fake nail on the ends and then I'm going to sit. I'm going to put it on. Oh my god I just glued my fingers together. I'm going to put it on like this. Hold it. Yep, five seconds. I used too big of a nail form so it wouldn't stick, you see, because now it's like too big over here. So I work at Sally's, right? So um, I see a whole bunch of people. And one time this lady came in and she literally had nails that were this long. They literally looked just like this. And they were red and, I, and they were acrylics. And I was like, oh my god, oh, I did one crooked. So to um, shape these, what I'm going to do, I don't really know what style I'm going to do, so I'm just going to cut them down to like the shape, the size that I want. Go a whole lot bigger than what you want, just long enough, just short enough so they're not these. And you can still work with your nail, you can still work with your hand. So you can do the other side. Now that these are cut and you know how to do that, I'm going to do this other hand and I'll be right back. So once you have all of the tips on and trimmed down, it's time to start filing them. So um, you can shape them any way you want. I'm going to, I think, I think what I'm going to do is try to shape mine in coffin. Either that or square. Those are the two shapes that I like the most. But this is the normal length that I like for my acrylics um even though this is cornstarch i'm just pretending i'm doing like acrylic i will see you when my nails are shaped i wanted to show you guys my progress so like i said i tried to do the coffin shape um so this is what i started with and this is where i'm at now i've obviously never done 
nails like this before and I've never really like shaped my own nails so I don't know if this is exactly coffin I don't think <laughs> I don't think I mean it doesn't look like all that great but what I did was I took the nail clipper because I tried filing it but that did not work don't try filing them I found the spot where I wanted to cut and I went in and I trimmed the side down did the same thing on the other side and then on the top I just went straight across and cut straight across so it was a straight line now I'm gonna go back in and file and just get rid of because like these lines right here aren't very straight and smooth so I'm just gonna get rid of any jagged lines if you're planning on doing this make sure you have a whole bunch of time because it's gonna take forever so the first step in all of these little tutorials I've seen is to get your cornstarch I have mine in a little bowl some people dip it in and some people like take a spoon and um, brush the most like popular way that I've seen to do it is the dip so I'm gonna I'm gonna be doing it by the most popular way from what I've seen in the videos by dipping my fingers in the cornstarch so what you're supposed to do is take a top coat and then dip your finger top coat dip your finger top coat dip your finger I'm gonna take one of my favorite top coats this is diamond dry you can get this at Sally's come get this from me <laughs> do my like finger first my in my pointer I'm gonna do my finger first this is a quick dry top coat so I don't know if you're supposed to just use a regular one but I'm gonna use a quick dry and I'm just gonna paint the nail like I would any other time then I'm going to dip the one girl waited like 30 seconds but then the other one just kind of brushed it right off so with this one I'm gonna wait about 30 seconds one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirty <coughs> and I'm gonna brush it okay one time doing that let me put my hand here so you can see my finger a little bit better so this is what it looks like after one time doing that mm. let's try it again and top coat it work with it a little bit because it does form like that acrylic ball and it dries pretty fast now most most videos did three layers so that's what I'm gonna do but this one actually came out really good compared to what this is looking like so I don't know I'm kind of interested to see what color is gonna look like going over top of that I'm finding that dipping is making it like beat up a little bit and I feel like maybe if I just drop it on there with my file it'll work out a little bit better so I'm gonna dust off my powder and this one actually looks really good personally the dropping method seems to work a lot better it's giving me a more smooth finish than the first one that I did it looks so good like I'm tripping oh my god it looks actually so good I'm don't look at we're gonna flip you off for a minute look at it it looks so smooth this is what my nail situation is looking like after they're all done this one hasn't been top coated yet but the first one she's a little bit iffy but the rest of them yo actually can file the nail so it loses its shape a little bit if you aren't waiting like I did with this one but you can file it back down so it regains its shape a little bit so this is my first hand completely done let me grab a different angle for you so this you guys is my first hand completely done honestly like to me it looks so good you can see some of them did lose their shape um the pinky became a little bit lumpy and bumpy but um they honestly came out really well i think for my first time doing it also like i can't even hate like the nail channels are going to be coming for me you guys <laughs> mess though like my whole table looks like such a shit fest right now and i haven't even got to painting with colors oh but yeah it looks honestly pretty good and as you can see filing it um filing them i filed this one down so you can see it lifted up a little bit on the edge where i filed it right here but it actually filed out pretty smooth i mean i'm already saying it was a success based on what i did from this hand 
So um, if it becomes a complete fail on this hand, it's just because I'm not left-handed. So it's going to take a little bit more effort. But um, I'm going to go ahead and do this hand. I'm going to show you guys both on camera so you guys both can see where we started and where we ended after the cornstarch. Okay, since this whole video is my hands, I'm just going to talk with my hands because this is probably the coolest thing I've ever done. I cannot say enough good about this. It looks so much better than this hand because this was my practice trial run and this was, which is surprising because this is the hand that I did with my wrong hand, with my right hand. And this is the hand that I did with my wrong hand, but for some reason it looks better. They didn't lose their shape so much. I didn't actually go back and file these ones down at all. So now I'm just going to coat these babies with some polish. Since it's Christmas, I'm going to use my tree as inspiration. I have some red polish here. And I have some, um, I don't know if I'm going to do gold or silver glitter. And I will see you in a flash. Okay guys, so I have a different angle right now because I'm here to show you. This is the final end result. I ended up doing just one glitter accent nail where I just dumped a butt ton of glitter on my nail but yeah you guys this is it this is the final the final countdown this is the final look let me show you the other hand it's on my other hand so you guys yeah this is our nails for the next hopefully forever because it took me so long to do them. I mean, I didn't paint them very well because I'm just freaking exhausted. It's been three hours since I started this. Mostly because I've never shaped my nails before or like anything like that. Thumbs up for me. Like and subscribe this video and I will see you next time. Bye. Did I just say subscribe this video?